So I started in Providence in 2012, and literally the first class I took, I was completely hooked. I wanted to do it five times a week, so I started the studio so I could keep training and offer something in this part of the state. Sport has been around for centuries. Ch um, Chinese pole is a sport that was typically done by men that has been around for centuries. Also, the um, Indian culture has a sport called Malakam, where it's, me it's done by men as well, and it's acrobatic moves on a static or spinning pole. In this country, um, the first studio started in 1994, so it's a, a relatively new sport. In the last 10 years, it's really exploded. I like to describe pole fitness as aerial gymnastics. So we are incorporating elements of dance and gymnastics aerially up on the pole. So we're using a lot of physics and a lot of muscular strength to invert and get ourselves up on the pole and then make it look like a beautiful dance. It incorporates a lot of elements together into one routine. That's why people have so much fun here. There's definitely a trend towards not just going to the gym and running on the treadmill. So the people who come here, they want something different. They want something that they love and that they crave to come back and keep pr progressing and keep practicing. So what we offer here is something completely different than a gym workout. It's fun. Um, the music is invigorating. We come in here, we stretch, we get flexible, we get strong. And there's definitely a social component to our studio. When someone gets a new trick, everybody turns over and cheers them on. So it's, very, it's a social way for women to come and spend time together. Most people that come in here do not have the upper body strength in the beginning. So we do a lot of the beginner moves to build up the strength. So we have a lot of exercises that are specifically designed to build up the strength that you need to invert on the pole, to climb the pole. So what I really enjoy about teaching pole fitness is I get a lot of women who come in here, um, they're, they're underconfident, they're not very strong, they're not very fit. And literally, after a couple months, they start to build strength. And I find a really strong correlation between giving women physical strength immediately starts to give them emotional strength and it starts to give them confidence and that is what I find most rewarding about the studio is seeing these women completely open their wings and become butterflies and fly. They've got such confidence after they come in here and they see a trick and they think they're never going to be able to do that and within a couple months they're doing it. Yeah, the, the, just the, the strength is empowering, it really is, and to do new things and um, to challenge yourself, there's always another challenge. I, I don't think I'll ever learn enough to not be challenged by this, by this sport. This makes me want to push myself further and further and further, more than anything I've ever done. It's the biggest challenge I've ever done in my life, and I love it. I think what's great about pole is that you do gain muscle mass. I have extreme, I, my body type has totally changed just from doing pole. My posture's better, I'm more flexible than I've ever been in my life. I mean, even when I was much younger, I'm way more flexible than I've ever been. Um, which helps obviously avoid injury and all those other things that people get involved in when they don't stretch. We're all ready to go. Everyone's ready to go. They're smiling. Everyone's happy. They're... Everyone who's here is happy to be here from the moment they walk in here. So it's a really full hour and 15 minutes, that's for sure. <laughs> and rewarding, absolutely. I leave here sore and happy.